Hey XQC, if you like tackies, you should check out the petition no, for them to no, sell their powder no. at change.org yeah, slash ticket. I don't mind the dumpster fires of the other videos, but these are, these are just bad. <laughs> Hello everybody. Have we said before? The presidential race, but that's fine. So and to a certain Democrat. I am a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. I am a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. One is a liar. <laughs> if the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire prize. Who is the odd man out? When did like everybody become a Democrat? From birth. <laughs> <laughs> Um, honestly, when I went to school, I grew up in a really small town in Nebraska. It was very white. We had Fox News on TV You're all the time. You're not helping your case. I know. <laughs> <laughs> not helping. I know my mom. Brandon kind of was coming after me, just saying stuff like, we got the bad move for bringing up like that I'm from Nebraska and that I grew up with um, a conservative family. So I thought maybe, you know, him coming off that strongly that he could have been the mole. Where'd you go to school? Oklahoma State University, which uh, does not help me. Okay, like yeah. <laughs> um, I come from a conservative family, yeah, went to college, I, and was like... Where did you go to college? Uh, USC. Two years oh. Democratic oh, family over so here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I was targeting this. Nick a little bit. USC is known for being a more private, conservative school. Does the three rate die? Amongst Blake, Nick, and Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I'm black. I think the Democratic Party aligns with the interests of black people. The Republican Party really doesn't offer anything. Medicare is a big thing for me. My father passed away right before I was born. Didn't have health insurance, and so when he got sick and got cancer, it just happened so late. I don't want that to happen to anybody else's parents. The most important uh, issue for me is the environment. I think Trump pulling out of the Paris Agreement was horrible. I think the U.S. should lead this global initiative towards renewable energy. Cry. I'm like trying to get it together right now. Andrew Yang. I think his like the freedom dividend is a thousand dollars a month helps like the far majority of people in America. Like, I don't mean to interrupt, but also I don't feel like Andrew Yang really um, emphasizes the points that you first brought up about healthcare, and I think like Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders. But he is, yeah, he is for Medicare for all, though. Okay, true, but like I feel like other politicians, especially who've like would be led the I, I'm planning to vote for Elizabeth for Warren. What are your views on abortion? Pro-choice, easy. Were you lying? <laughs> Blake was inconsistent with what policies are really most important to him. I think a really important question is what values really make you a Democrat to you? Why don't you start out with your own question? Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I am Iranian-American. Sorry, I didn't oh. get that. Iranian. I'm Iranian-American. Oh, American. okay, yeah. And your parents are immigrants? Yeah, my parents are immigrants. When, when Sarah started GTA asking questions, so I kind, kind of cut her off. Soon. And I don't know, that seemed kind of like a very aggressive way to come at it. Women's rights are really important to me, as well as like environmental rights. I'm a huge Bernie Sanders supporter. Um, <laughs> what ways do you support the women's rights movement? Well, like abortion, Planned Parenthood. I'm half Excuse black, half Mexican, really and my mom was actually brought here as a baby video, from my abuelita and abuelito from TJ, and then my dad's obviously black. And so, <laughs> kind of like black the same thing as black people are Democrats. Yeah. I don't like people telling me what to do, <laughs> so Good like, choice. 150% pro-choice. I think Jasmine was protected by Brandon, which is completely valid because people of color should protect people of color. But I just felt like I didn't want to come in and be a little bit of a bully and try to get to the root of the question. But I would say like I'm a baby Democrat because I grew up, I grew up Christian. My main thing is abortion, healthcare. Again, baby Democrat, I like just got into it, so. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> if, if, if you're real, welcome. Both of my parents are immigrants. My mom was born in Grenada. My dad was born in Paris, France. Um, and then mm -hmm. I'm currently in school. I'm a political science major, pre-law concentration. The minors in ethnic studies. Don't think a Republican would take that first. <laughs> Anthropology and geography. You didn't laugh, Nick. You didn't laugh. <laughs>
Anthropology. I'm smiling. I love your story. I was a theater major, you guys. How many Republicans are theater majors? I would say my biggest value is I'm a staunch feminist. Like, I'm absolutely pro-choice, and I believe in women's autonomy over their bodies. Obviously, women's rights is huge to me. There needs to be autonomy. Um, good control, also extremely important. The big thing that made me a Democrat was knowing in high school that I was gay and I was raised in the military in the era of don't ask, don't tell. Mm -hmm. Carried a lot of shame. And, yeah. How old are you real quick? 30. Oh, dang. Oh, you're in your 20s. Yeah, oh, so. You look so young. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Just made me sound. Just thinking of what I'm at. Oh, wow, that went really fast. I think we all were just really open with each other. Oh. <laughs> All the other women in the box had very like concrete examples to back up why they were a feminist and why they were pro-choice. It really sucked that I had to like vote Sarah out, but in my head, her answer was a little less supportive. Raise your hand. Did we completely forget what the title of the video was, though? Yes. And you would like to continue the game. <sighs> Jesus. I'm gonna start off somewhere really weird, but it's just based off a study I read. If you guys were to see a severed hand, floating in a glass bottle, how disgusted would you be? A severed hand in a glass severed bottle? Severed hand in a glass bottle. <laughs> Your face. How disgusted That's would you be? That's an intense what? question. I would... How disgusted would you be? I would probably be pretty disgusted, I okay. would say. I would probably throw up. Blood really freaks me out. Okay. <laughs> is, is, is it bloody and stuff? Yeah. Because like that's a However your thing. mind Whoa, goes with everybody's it, time asking how disgusted do you feel? I, I can't even imagine it. So like I'm not going to say super disgusting, but obviously wouldn't just have it on my mantle. My gut reaction isn't gross. It's more like Why? comical and confused. <laughs> like, yeah. I would like to know more information. <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> Okay. Wait, why, wait, wait, why? Yeah, what's, yeah. The, what's the deal? The, what's the study? Okay, essentially a study in 2014 said that like based on like brains of Democrats versus Republicans, Republicans are more likely to have like a gut reaction of something being a more disgusting. At, at the same time though, what? it's based on thought Shut processing. Shut up. That's interesting. Because you two, like I, you're the baby oh, Democrat. That yeah. was just cringe. Or at least your family uh -huh. Fuck, or, man. Both Nick and Jazz were really disgusted. And that's why like both of them were kind of on my list. I thought Sai's question was really interesting. And what's so funny is I answered differently than what I was thinking in my head. Because I was thinking that if I saw a jar with a hand, yeah, chat says, I would be like. As a political debates. Okay, hold on, no. He says, he says, um, that's not a study. Don't be anti-science. Like, oh, there's a jar with the, that. It wouldn't really bother me. But I answered that it would because I thought that would be the answer they were looking for. And it turns out it totally was wrong to do that. <laughs> Oops. Who are your top like two candidates? What are the issues that like you most resonate with with their platform? I'm a big Warren person because I love the way she's run her campaign, mm -hmm. that it seems so- For the most so, part. For the most Except part. for the Native American. Yeah. Exactly, that is, oh my gosh. But she seems like she's really out to meet people personally, and she spends hours waiting to take selfies, and she calls people personally, and she's only taking money from regular citizens, not big, huge donors, and I appreciate that so much. I felt like Nick didn't come across as passionate. His answers just seemed a little premeditated and I felt like they were just kind of read off without emotion behind them. I really yeah, I like Warren, yeah. but I lean a little bit more towards Sanders because I was a sociology major. And so, I wonder how so no, no, okay. No, I'm a people person, low. and in order for everybody to succeed, we all need to build each other no, up, right. not tear each other down. So, no. And so Bernie, he's what very- What policies of Bernie? Are you like a- Well, a his racial now. justice, is like a big thing for me, immigration, and then obviously like universal health care. And I'm not yeah. gonna lie, a lot of the stuff I get is from like black Twitter, so. <laughs> Which is like totally a valid Which source though. Right I'm gonna I check that out. I feel like we're all right Democrats now. now but. Can I me too. Yeah, on the <laughs> <laughs> you gotta comment? Guys, 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 if I comment, chat, chat's gonna break apart, okay? Chat's, it's barely, it's holding on to chat. <laughs> as soon as you heard him, you're like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I had a target on my back that entire game. I think age might have been a factor. I think that the the four that were left seemed to really be connecting age as and younger people. I lost my job due to my bipolar disorder, so I can barely afford food, but I needed to say thank you one last time. My laptop broke, but you all keep me smiling while I lay in bed. You and Chad keep me going when I want to give up. Keep your money, bro. Keep your money, motherfucker. Keep your money, man. Twitter is a valid source of information, lol. Lights 
Wait, it's green, they brought everybody out. Uh. It's you, isn't it? Oh my god. Who is it? I know now. I knew it. 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 I am sending this demo from my way home from work. Oh, what's this? I was the most suspicious of the actual mode. Oh no. I didn't know. A truck is coming. Oh no. I do I want to face it right on. Okay, I'm a Republican, I'm coming onto the show, and I'm going to pretend to be a Democrat, so let me say that I'm a new one, and then that way people will go easier on me. When Brandon said that... Wait, what did he say? His first reasoning for being a Democrat was because he was black. The way that I was thinking and coming at it was he would never assume that another black person would be a Republican, let alone want to be very friendly with him and joke around. I had my suspicions, I was like, I wouldn't be surprised if she was the mole, but in my head I was like, I hope it's not Jasmine who's the mole. Because democracy basically means <laughs> government by the people, of the people, for the people. <laughs> but the people are retarded.